hello everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you exactly how you can get the front of your crochet braids look like you had individuals they're not gonna look like crochet braid uh, you're not gonna see the the cornrow just like you just see right here it's gonna look as seamless as possible we are using some handmade passion twist 18 inch from the curl refinery.com it's a black owned business i'll make sure i link her website in the description box now let's talk about the braid pattern please make sure you don't braid nobody's hair tight especially at the very beginning of the cornrow what i'm doing here is creating parts so she'll be able to flip her hair left and right and middle and I did uh, three parts for her. I created three parts, left, right, and middle. What I'm doing here is just uh, finishing the braid pattern. Whenever you're taking your hair out, if you do this braid pattern, you just have to start with that one braid right here. I'm going to use the latch hook to just hide it. Whenever you're taking your hair out, you start here. And of course, I'm using this serum right here to prevent her hair from itching. If she ever had uh, experience with that, I'm leaving this serum in the description box as well from a black owned business. If your hair is itching, you use this, you're going to feel great. Your scalp going to feel great. Now let's talk about the hair. Again, it's from a black owned business, thecurlrefinery.com. The hair is 18 inches. I'm using color 1B. She does have other colors, so check the link to see what else she got. Uh, each pack has 25 strands in them, 25 strands, and we are using five. The hair is super easy to install. You can open the loop as wide as you want. You can also undo those, uh, those passion twists to make your hair bigger whenever it's getting old. And the hair is super light now let's talk about the front which is what this video is exactly about hold your lash hook in this direction this direction right here when you are doing the front don't hold it in any other direction but this one and also make sure you do 10 cornrows going straight back if you want to wear five packs if your head is a little bigger do 12 corn cornrows going straight back and you may need six packs that's if your head is bigger than hers. Hers is not as big, so five, uh, con um, ten cornrows straight back was enough. But if you feel like you have more hair than her and your head is a little wider, do twelve cornrows going straight back. Do not do thirteen or fourteen. You'll end up with too much, uh, hair on your head, and you don't want that. The hair itself is already full, and if you undo those twists, it's gonna be bigger. So uh, do at least 12 or 10 and that'll be enough. Now let's talk about taking this hair out. I'm telling you now already, this hair, you can reuse it. You can do some molly twist with it. When it gets old, you unravel it, comb it out, wash it and comb it out. Or you can just do some spring twist with it or even some locks. I'll have videos uh, where I'll be uh, using this hair but just do different hairstyle with it stay tuned for that to take it out all you do is just cut the hair at the root that's all you do if you are taking it out yourself cut a little further just to make sure that you don't you know, cut the cornrows but if somebody is doing it for you they can cut as close as uh, the uh, how I just showed you right now if you're doing it yourself Cut one inch from the cornrow just to make sure you don't cut your hair. But if somebody is standing over your head and doing it, they can cut a little closer. It will be easier to come out. If you want to reuse the hair, what you do, you take down the braid pattern. You don't touch the hair. You just take the cornrows out from the back. The 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 braid, you, you remember the corn, the braid that i use i use a lash hook to to hide you use you start with that 
braid right here you undo it and then everything will just fall out and then you'll be able to reuse the hair i've showed you the proper way to do it so it looks as seamless as possible this is the way not to do it you see how i position the latch hook and when you're doing the front do not do it like that i'm gonna show you what comes out when you hold your latch hook like this this is what you get it's a little bulkier at the roots nothing's gonna come out it still look okay but comparing to the other ones you see how it looks so don't do the don't do your crochet braid like this when you're doing it up front do not hold your latch hook like this i'm gonna show you the right way again one last time and then this video will be over easy to come out uh when your hair gets old it's not gonna be that easy to come out so that's why i say take your braid pattern down instead this is the right way to do it if you want it to look as seamless as possible up front and that's it once you reach once you get here what you do you just start pulling a little bit just to make it a little tighter not her hair but the crochet itself and we are basically done uh just just this one is just a little extra thank you very much for watching this video if this video was helpful if the voiceover was helpful if anything in this video was helpful please let me know in the comment section below i do read my comments i may not reply but i'll make sure I, at least i like whatever you say so please leave me some feedbacks i'll make sure i reply to as many questions as i can I, I do realize that i haven't been replying to people as much as i used to when i first started so that's something i need to get back on doing uh leave a comment and let me know what was helpful and i'm not sure if you are following me on instagram i did let people know here in the community tab that i won't be in tampa anymore i am moving to orlando it's only one hour and 30 minute drive so hopefully i'll still have my clients if not Thank you very much for supporting me throughout all these years. I think I've been braiding in Tampa for like seven years. It's a lot of clients. I don't know what I'm going to do. But thank you very much for supporting me. And I'm waiting for you to drive one hour and 30 minutes to Orlando to come get your hair done. And that's it for this video. Check out thecurlrefinery.com. We use five packs. Each pack has 25 twists in it. And it was easy to install. It took me one and a half hour to do this. And because I was filming. Normally it would take like one hour. So I'll see you in Orlando. And thank you for, keep, uh, thank you for supporting, commenting, liking, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate that. And also, don't forget to click like on this video. It's very important now. You have to like.